Hey, everybody, we're live again at the Pace Studios. We are live now with Jay Horde. Man, thank you so much for being here. It's great to see you again. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be back. Such a pleasure to be back. And with the boys, even yeah. greater. Can we, yes, can, we, can we introduce everybody before we get into it? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. We have AJ Jagannath here on guitar. All right. And we have Jed Lingat here on bass. And Tyler Newsett on drums. All right. All right, so you guys are going to do four songs for us today. I'm looking forward to sharing what you guys have to do with everybody out there. Um, you're going to do two songs off of the most recently released EP and two songs off the one that is, uh, that's coming out Absolutely. real soon. Uh, can you tell us what you're going to do first? The first song that we're going to do is Countdown. And yeah, here we go. Thank you. 
Guys, thank you. That sounds so good here in the room. It sounds so wonderful for everybody out there on the internet um, after Bob has done his mix to it. Mm -hmm. But in, here in this room, and every so 100% of the time that I see you, I get goosebumps. That happened the first time. It's happening right now. So uh, I hope that that's, we're transmitting that through the wires as well. And everybody who's uh, who's watching on the other side is feeling the same way because it's outstanding, man. It's a total, total pleasure to see you again. I'm really happy that you came back to do this again. Thank you. It's a literal privilege to be here. Thank uh, you. So can we talk about uh, where people can see you next? You've got this, I mean, this is a big, big project. You've got, uh, you've got this, re the residency at National Sawdust. The next one, the second one is on January 18th. Um, so people can see it out there. Can we talk a little bit about the release of the EPs as they relate to the, uh, to the National Sawdust residency? Absolutely. Thank you. So the first residency uh, was in October and uh, I released my first EP, Follow Me Now. And that was released October, I want to say 19th. Uh, and it features the songs that we're going to get into now. And um, those songs uh, have different producers, Dane Orr, who I worked with, and Sunny Moon. Um, another producer that I work with closely is uh, Frankie LaRue, Nick Clown from San Francisco, Dan Edinburgh's of the Step Kids. It's just a nicely cute, you know, uh, um, combination of, or, or collaborations with people that, you know, I look up to and have been working with for a few years. And this next EP, uh, which is Follow Me Into Through the Past, Ollie, F Follow Me Through the Past, um, that's going to feature this song, Countdown, and other tunes that were written with Greg Seltzer. Um, he's an incredible composer and guitarist. And uh, we wrote these songs a couple of years back, and some were released, some songs that we worked on were released as singles, but now it's going to be a full EP with this, these, this, these songs with Greg, as well as other songs of mine. Um, that feature live instrumentation. The first EP is more R&B, trappy. We're going to get into it. You're going to love it. But this next EP is going to be more acoustic, more soul, and bring out those good old church vibes that I was raised with. Yeah. Um, and you can check both the next show um, at National Sawdust in Brooklyn on Wythe. Amazing venue. And uh, we'll be there January 18th. Yes, sir. All right. So remind me. So your next song, the second one coming up, is this going to be one of the ones off of uh, off Follow Me Now, or is this going to be something from Follow Me Through the Past? Through the Past. Through the Past. Exactly. Yes, right. sir. Yes, sir. And Through the Past, it's more so, uh, you know, again, tapping into those acoustic things, you know? So now, that's where I am now, that I'm into that, you know, kind of like four chord loop situation. I'm in a hip hop band called The Lesson, and... Uh, we do more of that kind of style, and this follow me through the past is more lush chords, a bit of time signature changes, none of that today, but uh, the lush chords definitely are happening. Yes, sir. Can I be your Vegas lover? Call me when your band's in town. That's what she said. A response no one could find out because all could be lost. And in days, when more.
response no one would find out Because I would be lost Then both me left, left with more than their spouse and man But the noon brought on the day Thank you for spreading that message of uh, love and fidelity throughout this room and throughout uh, <laughs> the internet. After writing this song and after performing it a while with these guys, I realized, you know, like the narrative can change because I wrote the song. So it's like, yeah, this happens on tour, but actually, maybe we should encourage the children to not let it happen. Tour, you know, all the musicians out there. <laughs> well, so can we talk? So the the context of this song uh, changed for you. You're allowed to make it whatever you want. Can we talk about the the chain? The uh, f- follow me through the past. Follow me now. So follow me now is the one that came out first. Follow me through the past is number two. Um, are we? I mean, are these are the musical styles meant to be? Uh, Absolutely what you were into at that time where you're headed towards? Do you, are you into all of it at all at the same time? Nailing it. Nailing it. You got it. 
Yeah, so with uh, follow me now <laughs> specific, like you nailed it. <laughs> follow me now specific, it opens up with rule. And that was written, I want to say, the end of 2015, and that was at the height of my involvement with Sunny Moon. And Dane and I, we went into the, into the studio and I wrote the lyrics and, you know, we worked it out and fleshed out how we're going to arrange it, how we're going to, well, how he's going to arrange it and produce it because he's an incredible producer, but how we were going to, you know, approach it. And so most of the songs on that EP were like that, working with producers within the past two to two to three years. This EP through the past, reaching back to songs written from you know, college years, you know, I'm good and out of my college years. So um, going back to those days until when I first arrived to New York, that type of um, time frame, as well as with the instrumentation, like instrumentation of, I don't want to say the past, but like, you know, we're in a generation now where DJs, you know, they're the band. So sure. um, having instruments and live instrumentation on stage and on a record can sometimes be a bit like going old school. So, so, so the fairly it. literal interpretation of those titles is the is absolutely. the one way that, that that you meant it. Absolutely. And the next, the last one of the three "Follow Me" series is "Follow Me Through Into the Future." Sorry, "Follow Me Now," "Follow Me Through the Past," "Follow Me Into the Future," and that, as it sounds, you know, like what I think at least future, at least the future of my music is going to sound like. You know, so. Just giving it away. Cool. Well, I'm glad that you, I'm glad that you said it because I wasn't sure what. It's, I mean, you've got so much going on, and I don't know what is what secret, what is able to be put out yes. there. So um, cool. I'm glad that uh, that um, that is out there now. And uh, can you tell us a little bit about what you're going to do third? Yes, sir. So this next song is from the Follow Me Now EP, and uh, yeah, this is entitled "Pain on Repeat." Her warmest syndrome stole the best portion of her Turned her heart into words to silent teardrops With each fall to the floor The very thought of losing all she knew Became the proof of why she stayed with the dude Who was a whole to horse But when he left, she felt nothing left but on her knees she cried, he'll be back, he'll be back Putting pain on repeat, repeat But when he left, she felt nothing left But on her knees she cried, he'll be back, he'll be back Putting pain on repeat, repeat The superhero syndrome caused the worst decision he made Turned his blood into paste the first time they ever went out uh, To keep his lady smiling Became his kryptonite By avoiding the truth of how she abused His courage to restore her past Past But when he left She felt nothing left And on her knees she cried He'll be back, he'll be back Putting pain on repeat, repeat
All right. If you, if you, the internet are just joining us right now, we're live with Jay Horde and Jay, man, it's been a total pleasure to watch the, the evolution of, of you as an artist and X, you had either just recently or were just about to have won those, the two Grammy certificates for, uh, for songwriting on no problem on chance, the rapper of the, for best rap, uh, album. Was that right? Was that one of the, uh, uh whatever. We'll, we'll not dive into the cement. So that was that was happening at that time. We uh, are stoked here to be watching watching you evolve, and it's I mean obviously very much ties in with what you you've been thinking about in terms of the naming of the of these albums like like Ghosts of Christmas and uh, exactly. that's, <laughs> precisely precisely. Um, can we talk a little bit about see again? I, I don't know what is what is secret information and what is out there information. We okay. probably maybe we should have pre-gamed this a little bit beforehand because I don't want to give anything up that is not actually. Um. I think I can talk about it at this point. Uh, I, I did some recording on the Queen legend, iconic Michelle Degacello's uh, ventri ventriloquism album on the Atomic Dog song, uh, Atomic Dog 2000, I think it's Atomic Dog 2018. Um, yeah, and she is now nominated. Um, and I forget which category, but the same, ca I the one of the same categories with Beyonce and... Jay Z, the Carters, that's what they're called right now. I'm yeah. sorry, guys. I know I should know, but you know, this is what I'm doing right now. Um, but yeah, um, she's nominated with, in that category, and it just feels good to uh, be associated again with something that's like, you know, of course it was going to be memorable without the nod from the Grammys, but to be a part of that with her. Yeah, I'm sure. Well. I'm yeah. sure that helps to cement the uh, the Absolutely. feeling in your heart about you know? uh, about, about about how that collaboration felt. And I can't wait. I can't wait to dive deeper into it, man, and and check it out because I wasn't familiar with it before uh, before you just just mentioned it. That's and it. very much looking forward to diving in deeper. Um, so we've got a fourth a bonus song today. Can you tell us a little bit about what you're going to do fourth? Okay, here we go. This is the last one. This is a chilled one. This is called Point Never. It's for all those that you know like to be sexy. Stock is falling on the distracted. Spin the night, 
dust Our love, our love Outlast us Close the door behind you Spark up Let the flame guide you Thank you again. So those are four songs. Two of them were off of Follow Me Now, which was the first EP to be released. Um, um, Follow Me Through the Past is coming out on, is it same day? So on January 18th, is that right? That is our, that is our target date. Cool. So January 18th is the next day of the uh, of the National Sawdust Residency in Brooklyn, and that coincides with the release of the EP. So, man, you've got a lot of very cool things happening, and come by when, when the next phase happens. We'll be here doing this, either in this tape room or on a different floor of this building, so please come by and see us again, man. It's always, always a total pleasure. Thank you, thank you so much. All right, thank you. <laughs>